brain-based and learn, which is a part of what we're all trained to do as educators in the elementary training for this. Getting the teacher trying to figure out the student's brain and how it works, and then students trying to figure out their brain and their perspective so that they make in some of these suggestions and scoping that come from the teachers. I've also implemented and trained in this thing called school attune, and what it really means is that if we have a classroom of 15 students or 17 students, we're really attuned to the way the students are not going to learn it, and in turn, attuned to what they were instructed. To teach the strengths of the weak student, the more I know is the class methods. I love coming here to here as a who do want to get an educational there. I would encourage dropping, just take them a space, but we give different roles. I was asked to switch them in different ways. In my field of biology, there's a lot of gene going on about us, so learning about the new things that are happening in biology is very intelligent and laid. We're not a position where we're, we're having to follow an old pattern or um, repeat something that's been for years. We're actually been able to um, create a new new curriculum from all the research that we got and the new from the internet. There's really nothing more rewarding than um, figuring out creative new ways to teach children the concepts of skills. I think it's cool. Three teachers who are true students and teachers for me are possible. The more that I know about what's going on in my biology, the more I'm sure that I can help my students. Um, and it's not just my students, it really keeps me motivated as well. As a group of professionals, I can make sure I think better at their practice and the ultimate administrators are always our students.